The next thing I want to talk about is navigating 3D space. There is an entire ribbon dedicated towards helping you navigate 3D space and change how you can view your drawing. So I'm in the view tab up here at the top and you can see that here this is the 2D navigation controls. These are the different views, kind of preset views that we can change to. We can change the way that we view the surface. So right now I have it set to shaded. I can go back to 2D wireframe if I wanted to. Over here are the different types of UCS icon coordinates that I can use, viewport configurations, and then a bunch of other tools here that we can find useful. If you want to know exactly what they specifically do, again, like I said, you can roll your mouse over it and press F1, and it will take you to the help menu explaining exactly what that is used for. So the 2D navigation controls over here to the far left are kind of located on, the, like I said again, on the view tab in this navigate 2D group. So these are all the 2D controls. You can click on these buttons to activate the 2D navigation controls. So for example, pan, which allows me to pan around my drawing. If you want to get out of the command, you press escape. I usually press escape twice because some commands require it and I don't always remember exactly which commands require it. So on the safe side, we always press escape twice. The view cube over here on the right side allows you to also, if I click on a side and rotate it, it will also manipulate my scene. And sometimes you may have to type ZE for zoom extents so that you can get your terrain back on center. So I usually don't like to use this. For me, it's a little bit awkward. Some people really like it, so if you really like it, it's there for you. Over here, we also have some more controls, which allows you to also navigate. And then of course, you know, if you can memorize all the commands to navigate space with, you can type them in here. 